Hello everyone. In the last module, we looked at the methods of extraction of metals with lowest and medium reactivity. But have you ever wondered what about the metals with a high degree of reactivity? Metals like potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium and aluminium occupies the topmost position in the reactivity series as they are highly reactive metals. Do you remember that we have utilized carbon as a reducing agent? But the oxides of these highly reactive metals are very stable and cannot be reduced by carbon. Looking at this, can we say that these metals have more affinity for oxygen than the affinity that carbon possesses? Then how do we get these metals? The highly reactive metal is extracted by the electrolytic reduction of their molten chlorides or oxides. Electrolytic reduction is done by passing a current through the molten salts. Remember, during the electrolysis, metal is always produced at the cathode. The metals extracted by the electrolytic reduction are very pure. They do not contain any impurities. Sodium, magnesium, calcium and aluminium are extracted by this method. Let us understand this in more detail. Sodium metal is extracted from its chloride that is molten sodium chloride. Sodium chloride contains sodium ions and chloride ions in its molten state. When an electric current is passed through the molten sodium chloride, it decomposes to form sodium metal and chlorine gas. During the electrolysis, the positive sodium ions are attracted to the cathode, which is the negative electrode. The sodium ions take an electron from the cathode and reduce it to form neutral sodium atoms. The cathode acts as a strong reducing agent by supplying electrons. The negative chloride ions move towards the anode that is the positive electrode in the molten salt and gives away their electrons to the positive electrode. Here the chloride ions get oxidized to chlorine gas. The reaction can be written as the net reaction can be summed up as as mentioned earlier potassium, magnesium and calcium are also extracted by the process of electrolysis from their respective chloride salts. The molten salts used for extracting these metals are potassium chloride, magnesium chloride and calcium chloride respectively. What if the ore is oxide ore? Let us understand by taking the example of bauxite which is one of the popular aluminium ores. It is Al2O3 which is also known as alumina. Al2O3 is a stable compound. Now we shall try to understand the electrolysis of molten aluminium oxide. Molten aluminium oxide contains aluminium ions and oxide ions. When electricity is passed through the molten aluminium oxide then positive ions move towards the cathode where they take electrons and become neutral aluminium metal atom. The negative oxide ions will move towards the positive anode and will form an oxygen atom or oxygen gas giving away electrons to the anode. When an electric current is passed through the molten aluminium oxide, it decomposes to form aluminium metal and oxygen gas. The net chemical reaction can be shown as, did you know that metals obtained by electrolytic reduction are pure, but metals extracted from other reduction processes generally contain impurities. Then how can we purify them? We are going to explore the process of purification in our next module. Let us now quickly recapitulate what we have learned in this module. 
metals like potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium and aluminium occupy the top position in the reactivity series as they are highly reactive metals. The highly reactive metals are extracted by the electrolytic reduction of their molten chlorides or oxides. During the electrolytic reduction, the negatively charged electrode or the cathode acts as a strong reducing agent by supplying electrons. And note, the positive electrode acts as an oxidizing agent. During the electrolysis, metal is always produced at the cathode. The metals extracted by the electrolytic reduction are very pure. 